I brought home rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. So it's that time of the week where I make flautas, or you may call them taquitos, or rolled tacos. I am going to make flautas ahogadas. This is basically taquitos fried, or I'm gonna bake mine today, but you can fry yours. And I'm going to soak them and let them swim in this very simple and delicious green salsa consume. It's kind of like a soupy salsa. So good, here we go. Okay, so to start, I'm prepping my corn tortillas. These are just store-bought. In a pan over a low heat and preheated cooking oil, I'm just going to soften these in the hot oil. It doesn't take very long. And I kind of like to use an uncooked one to do that. And then I'm gonna place it on my little sheet over there and just repeat the process for all of the corn tortillas. And this will help to ensure that when you go to roll your taquitos or your flautas, that the uh, tortilla does not break. And you're really not trying to do this until it gets crispy. You want it to stay soft. Okay. Okay. Ooh, hot. Yeah, this is the hard thing, getting these out. <laughs> Here we go. So I've got several prepared. So I'm going to, um, you kind of want to do these ahead of time because when you go to actually roll the flautas or taquitos, it's going to be too hot if you do it like right now. So now I'm going to shred my chicken. So my husband's going to help me <laughs> shred the rest of three chicken. And I'm going to work on the salsa part or the consume part. I'm using two, this is like medium to large tomatillos three cloves of fresh garlic, a half of a small onion, one large jalapeno. You can do serrano if you really want this spicy. And I'm gonna work with some canned chicken broth. You could also just add water and do maybe like a tablespoon or so or to taste of the um, chicken bouillon powder. But I'm gonna opt for the chicken broth for my people that just don't like using bouillon powder. But I, I like to do that, but I'm just gonna switch it up today. Okay, so I've already chopped up my fresh ingredients. This is the jalapeno, tomatillos, the onion, and the garlic. You know, I'm gonna make a mess. I knew it, darn it. So I'm gonna put that in my yellow stained blender cup. For those of you that are wondering why it's that color, because I made immunity bombs not too long ago and it stained my blender cup. So I'm gonna add, this is like a 14 ounce can of chicken broth going in. And now I'm gonna give this a whirl. A little bit of cooking oil. Now I'm going in with my salsa. Okay, so what you could do, I'm definitely gonna bring this to simmer and let it cook for like 10 minutes. I think I wanna add a little more chicken broth. Um, I mean, it definitely is soupy. I'm probably gonna add another cup and then season uh, with salt to taste and that's it. Just let it simmer because essentially these are all raw ingredients. So you wanna cook this, bring it to a simmer and let it cook gently for about 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna add salt. I already know it's gonna need it. So I'll start with just a little. Well, there we go. And like I said, you want to bring it up to a gentle simmer. And then after around 10 minutes or so of simmer time, give it a taste, adjust to your preference. And this is the, the green consume, the green salsa consume that we're going to put for these taquitos today for dinner. Okay, so here's the shredded chicken. Good job, honey. <laughs> and here are my prepped tortillas and I just added like a couple of tablespoons of all-purpose flour with water. I also do this with cornstarch when I have it but I opted for the flour today because it was already out. <laughs> so this is kind of like a paste that's going to keep the roll tight and together. So I'm gonna start putting these together. So go ahead and take your prepped tortilla. Actually sometimes you can, I think I'm gonna, it already wants to kind of roll that way so Go ahead and roll it that way. I'm gonna add my shredded chicken 
And let me get this over here. And when you start to roll it, kind of pull back on that first roll. That kind of helps to keep it a tight roll and get some of your paste on the edge here and just, there you go. And then you keep it on your baking sheet, seam side down and repeat the process. Sometimes I overfill these or stuff these, so just be mindful of that. And just kind of smear that. Another, um, another little fun thing about this paste is that when you fry it, this paste fries up like a crust texturally. It's so good if you like crunchy stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat the process for all of my rolls or taquitos. Okay, so I have these rolled out and I actually could roll out more. This is just what I'm working with right now. I'm just feeding two to three people, so this will work. I'm going to bake these. You can definitely fry these in a shallow fry until golden brown and crispy, but I'm going to bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for maybe 20 minutes or until they are crispy and the texture is that of a fried taquito or flauta. I just didn't want to fry these today. And the residual oil from when I gave them that light fry, that'll help to crisp them up in the oven. Ah, and you can, all, you can also do this in the air fryer. So here's what the salsa looks like. You see how the bright, vibrant green kind of tones down, which is fine, but that just, you know, you basically cooked the raw ingredients with that simmer. So this is seasoned to perfection because I tasted it. You should do the same when making this. And if you want a bigger, fuller pot of this consomme, just double the recipe. And if you want extra flavor, roast your fresh ingredients before pureeing. That also gives great flavor to this, but I just wanted something quick and easy. So there's that. So these are ready. <laughs> Bo's mad. So we're gonna take this out. It's hot, be careful. I should probably clean my oven at some point. Okay. <laughs> so these are done and they are nice and toasty so I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate these up and dinner's almost ready okay so I'm going to serve it on this okay let's look at it this way yeah ah these are hot I'll do five and now this is just where you pour your delicious green salsa consume all over them there we go and then i'm going to take some cotija cheese just just make it snow <laughs> all over mexican crema here and this is dinner top how you like but just like this, it's amazing. It's so good. Okay, so I can't, can you see that? Okay, going in for a bite. So good, I already know. Mmm.